I'm in Hawaii right now visiting my mom, so excuse the crude video equipment. Maybe at the end of this video, I'll show you around this place. It's pretty, pretty awesome. I wanted to make a quick video talking about how you can access altered notes without having to know the entire altered scale really well. And it's just really another way of looking at it. And this to me makes uh, things a lot easier. So let me show you this, it's pretty cool. Let's say we're doing a two, five, one. So we'll just pick a key. I'm just gonna pick A, okay? So we're doing a two, five, one in A major. So that's gonna be B minor seven, okay? E seven to A major seven. So we're gonna be playing in A major over the B minor seven, that's gonna be B Dorian, right? So then we go to, go to that E seven, and that's where we would do our altered, right? Like that. So how do we find those altered notes without having to think in terms of the altered scale? If you know your altered scale well and you can make transitions from the major to the altered, that's great. But that's definitely more difficult than this concept, which is when you're playing over the B minor, the, the two chord, uh, you can just think of the major scale of the key. Certainly think about the chord tones of the two chord, right? And then when I hit that E7, all I have to do is find the nearest E, look for the nearest E, go up half a step, and then play the first notes of a minor scale. that and then just resolve it back to that E. So again, A major, find the nearest E right there, go up a half a step, play the first notes of a minor scale. It's actually the melodic minor. And there's your resolution if you're going up and you want to resolve. And that's gonna to resolve to the third of A major. So. And if we wanna resolve down, we just go back to the E, okay? We can do that from this F. We've got an F here. And then we can use this uh, fingering. So that's a nice way to do it. And say we're in another area of the fretboard, we're up here, okay? So we're gonna play, let's say, this B minor to this E altered to our A. And I always like to find the chords in the area that I'm playing so that you kind of can see where those chord tones are. It helps you to see them. But if we're playing up here and we want to just play um you know the major scale right find that f note so we never stop thinking of a major we're just finding the fifth of a major going up a half a step and playing that minor the first notes of a minor scale. And uh, that's a nice way to think of it. That way you don't even have to worry about thinking about switching to the altered scale and switching back or anything like that. I'll do some more little videos like this while I'm here this week. And um, let me know if this helps you in your improvisation. So guys, I just wanna show you around real quickly around my mom's place. This is a condo in, on the windward side of Oahu. And uh, check this out. This is the back, the view from her backyard. It's like kind of a jungle. This is her balcony here. There's all these roosters and that wander around out here. And um, it's a really relaxing place to be. And with the high ceilings in here, 
it's uh it's got really nice acoustics for playing the acoustic guitar so when i come to visit here i usually just um bring an acoustic and uh and sit in here and just mellow out and play some tunes so i'll be here all week and uh i'll try to make some more videos have a great day